Hello, I'm Lieutenant Mike Odell. In August of 2018, the department was introduced to a video and training bulletin titled Command and Control. In the bulletin, Command and Control was defined as the use of active leadership to direct others while using available resources to coordinate a response, accomplish tasks, and minimize risk. In regards to officer ball shootings, an essential goal of command and control is to manage the number of officers who are assigned lethal cover responsibilities. If an officer involved shooting does occur, the reasonable management of lethal cover will help lessen both the number of officers who discharge their firearms and the number of rounds fired. Consequently, danger to the community may be reduced by minimizing the number of rounds fired. Let's, let's just get one of you with your pistol out. I don't think we need two guns on them. So do me a favor, just one of you pick. One of you have less lethal on this side. Approximately 70% of officer involved shootings occur before a supervisor arrives on scene. Therefore, it is imperative that the senior officer or any officer on scene who has gained sufficient situational awareness establish command and control and begin the process to develop a plan of action. A very important part of that plan is the assignment of lethal and less lethal cover. A lack of command and control may result and an unreasonable number of officers who deploy with lethal cover and who ultimately discharge their firearm. Although guided by the person who has assumed command and control, each individual officer is ultimately responsible for articulating the reasonableness of their decision to draw, exhibit, or discharge their firearm. When an officer makes a decision to use lethal force, the officer must continually assess the objectively reasonable force to include each round that is fired. The department's guiding principle in using force shall be reverence for human life. The senior officer or any officer on scene who has established sufficient situation awareness shall establish command and control and begin the process to develop a plan of action. Additionally, officers shall attempt to control an incident by using time, distance, communication, and available resources to de-escalate the situation whenever it is safe and reasonable to do so. We have them pretty well contained, so we're not in any kind of a rush. The department understands that your job is often difficult and dangerous. Therefore, take care of yourself and your partner as you continue to serve and protect our community. Thank you, and stay safe.